Hi everyone, welcome. Just fixing up that light a little bit there. Hello, <laughs> hi guys. Oh, let me go all the way to the top. <laughs> hi Janine and Pamela, welcome Michelle, Diane. Shadow, Sal, welcome, Barbara, hello, welcome, I, Selena, hi, welcome, Loretta, hello, Shadow, I said hello, yes, I said hello, <laughs> hi guys, welcome, Shadow, so uh, I got caught up waiting for the stream to start then reading, <laughs> reading, <laughs> about uh, middle age. Anyhow, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> it's funny. We're up to week three of this beautiful image. My name is Belinda. If you don't know me, welcome. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Welcome. Meow. Oh, I'm sorry. You had a rough day and night. Kind of lurking. All right, no worries. Yes, Shadow. Wow. Shh. Shh. Noisy. Shh. You're being noisy. She gets up and kisses my hand. You're too cute. You're being cute. Stop it. Hello. Why are you so intent on attention this morning? Hope she didn't get a cuddle this morning, did you? Hey, you didn't get your cuddle. All right, so what's everyone been doing? Any news? Anything new? She's saying hello. She's saying hello. Pat me. Pay attention. Helen, hello. Welcome, darling. I got your email. Helen has a new email, a new Facebook now. Hi, Tara Lynn. Welcome. And pay on me hello. Welcome. Oi. Oh, you're mean. Why are you being mean? You're pushing me around today. Just pushy pushy. <laughs> Hi Marina, welcome. <laughs> you could. Wait, wait. <laughs> Don't kiss my face, it's weird. <laughs> you tickle me with your whiskers. Oi, you're being a bully. Right. I don't want my picture wrecked. I don't. <laughs> You're being a bully. Oh, you're a bully lala today. You're a bully lala. <laughs> Not the camera. Not the camera. She hates it when I tell her off. She hates it when I say, ah, ah, or oh, no, or she gets all funny about it. Her eyebrows go low and she scowls at me. <laughs> She's like, why? Why can't I do it? <laughs> Head <laughs> bump, all right. Make my nose tickle. <laughs> no, welcome. Okay. Anyone new? Say hello. Uh, if you if you can't chat, uh, there is a one minute subscription uh, rule. If you'd like to chat, you do need to be subscribed for a minute for it to allow you to chat. Um, it's just to stop those silly bots coming in and spamming us. They've been really bad lately. Actually, I even had one come in and be subscribed for a minute and then post. It was weird. That couldn't have been a computer. It must have been a person. Yes, I'm back. My new account is under the name of Dale Helen Evans. I sent a bunch of friends requests. I spent the day starting from scratch. What a pain in the butt. But yes. Awesome, Helen. So glad to hear it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I did invite you as an admin again. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the paper house. Do, 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 do. Oh, sweet shadow. You are too sweet and you're blocking my light again. Okay, so 
we are going to do uh, some more of this beautiful image. Look at her, she's so cool. You know what I forgot to do last week when we were when we were uh, coloring her hair. I was meant to add a little something and I forgot. So we're going to do that now. Um, I'm pretty sure this was the color. Uh, I'm just going to open up my color list here just to make sure. It's on the list for this week, I'm pretty sure. It is. Good. <laughs> just making sure. So, um, I had someone say that they had trouble finding, um, the... Finding, I know what I'm saying, just, just don't worry about it, it's all good. <laughs> Let me just go here. Oh, don't, just ignore that, whatever that was. Alright, here we are, I'm watching myself live here, I'm just going to share my screen. There we go. So if you're looking for the color list, this is the screen. Just under the video here, there's a, this, this is the description under here. And uh, just down here, it says where you get the image, what I'll be using. And it says here, Polychromos, each brand here each week. You just click on that. Oh, hello. And uh, this is the post with all of the, you know, stuff. And all the way at the bottom of that post, there's these little things that says Meg week three, Meg week, whatever. And you click on that and it saves, if if you're on a computer, it automatically saves it, depending on how you've got it set, but uh, it'll open or it'll save to wherever. So that's just uh, where you can get the color list from. Look at Tara Lynn there commenting on there. <laughs> Hi Cara, welcome. So uh, that's where it is. If you're looking for it, go check it out. It is there under the video you are in look at this see this shadow here ma'am that's because you're sitting there look at this hair is that hair no it's pencil excuse me <laughs> pardon me sorry about that telling you off there wasn't <laughs> all right so um that's where it is usually or or there's somewhere else you can go as well let me show you that one so this is uh, the Facebook group. I'm just going to show you now. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can't find the screen share. It's missing off. Anyway. <laughs> In my group, this is our group. Coloring tips and tutorials with Facebook Girl 1978. And if you go here, under here, events and you click on oh what's this one week three happening now let's click on that and look down here it gives you all the stuff you need look week three yay <laughs> it's a good idea to attend the the uh, events because then you get updates and things as well so it is there also brilliant you got it. That's where they are. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you will need to join the group if you haven't, if you want to get it from there. Um, and you just need to say that, uh, you know, you came from here and answer those questions so the admin can let you in. And Helen's now an admin again. Yay. And also I booted the other Helen for now uh, from my group just in case to Helen. Just let you know. All right. I have this color here, which is called, I'm using Polychromos. Faber-Castell or Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils made in Germany. Look at that. And uh, I'm using Bluish Turquoise, which is 149. And I'm going to sharpen it so it's nice and sharp. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put, just in these dark areas, a couple of, uh, oh no, just get rid of that bit of pencil poop there. I'm just going to put a couple of flick. 
<laughs> not having much luck. These pencil did not like me. <laughs> Couple of flicks of this color. Just three. It's not much. It's just a couple of different, you know, little flicks of colour. Why not? You need to get out of my light now. Go on. Off you go. Out of my light. Go. No! You must go! You're in my light. You must leave now. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye. Shadow. Say bye bye. Bye. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not leaving you. No. She says, I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going. Go. Oh, oh she's gonna attack me. No. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not going. Stop it. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> yep, no problem, Snap. I know, it's silly. <laughs> no problem, Alan. Go. <laughs> Let's do this. Go. Let's do these, uh, these leaves, shall we? Alrighty. Hmm. And a couple of colours. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Sorry, popped into my head. Oh god. Chrome Oxide Green 278. I've got Permanent Olive Green 167. And I have Grass Green 166. Her hair is pretty cool, huh? It's groovy. Groovy, baby. And uh, we're going to kind of pay a little bit of attention to these little leaves here. And we're going to take our time, because we can. Where is my camera? There it is. Zooming into these little flowers here. Oh, that, that's a little blurry to me. But, oh, you know, that it could just be my eyes. <laughs> uh, let's do this, shall we? Using the darkest colour, I have a chrome green oxide. I'm going to colour in the shadowy areas of this this uh, rose. I think it's a rose of some sort. It's pretty. What? I'm so okay, so we're going to put a bit of a shadow here. Just lightly, a bit of a shadow on the bottom of the stem there. I'm not exactly sure what, that might be part of the finger that we've missed there. So I'm going to come back and do that. Well, I was going to come back and do that, but of course I've put all of the other colours away. So I've got to get out. Things. I think I'll just use a little bit of cinnamon in there. It's only a tiny little area. Bit of cinnamon. Making sure I've got all of those other sections as well. I think there's a few missing there. You okay. go. Just filled them in, all right. Oh, 
Oh, no problems. A new problems. Selena. So any news? Anything happening at the moment? Apart from Helen's hacked uh, Facebook. Did everyone go and do two-factor authentication? I'm sure you did. It's definitely worth doing. All right, let's do a little bit over this side here. No, oh, I was off camera a bit there. Let's do this bottom section here as well. Coming all the way down. There. All right, now I'm going to swap to some permanent olive green. I need to look up the chronological order of Terry Books Shannara series again every time I do. I never print it off. I think I should. <laughs> or save it to your favourites. <laughs> they did the Shannara Chronicles on... Um, uh, I swapped to permanent olive green 167 and I'm just going to come above that dark colour now coming over the top of it and just a little bit further out I'm going to leave a couple of areas really light though for the next colour the Shannara Chronicles on Netflix I think it is it was good I enjoyed it I've seen it a couple of times actually I think I enjoyed the first season better than the second but Good anyway. I did want to use the kind of bluey green, but it didn't look right in here. I think it needed this color green for the for the stem and the flowers, not the leaves, I should say. So I've got a little bit of colour, a little bit of white area left here and I'm going to use the lightest colour which is grass green to go over that. And uh, yeah we're going to, we're going to go over the top. And we're going to do another layer so I'm not going to put too much pressure here. All right, repeating, repeat, repeat, repeat. You'll be lurking, no worries, Barbara. Wow. Uh, we have Daylight Savings actually starting uh, in another couple of weeks too. So the times will change again too for everybody. I hope that's not too much of a pain. Starting with that darkest color again, just coming into those shadows again. Just redoing them, keeping them nice and dark. And then we'll move into the leaves once we've done this. I just want to neaten this up a little bit first. We're looking at getting rid of our daylight savings, maybe changing our clocks in November. Huh. They're now talking about eliminating the time change in the near future. For everybody or just for you guys? Um, I don't know what it's like because, like, I don't know. 
We're so close to Antarctica here. It's already starting to get dark though, like, um, it's, it's getting darker earlier already without daylight savings finishing yet. They actually extended ours. Ours goes longer now than it used to. <clears throat> and I've got grass green again and I'm just going to finish that off again. Looks good. I went out the edges because I'm blind. <laughs> so I'm just going to erase that. So it turns out I was saying to my patrons yesterday that uh, my optometrist said to me this week that uh, I have middle-aged long-sightedness. And I was like, so what, is this like a, I don't know, a superhero thing? What else do I get at middle age? <laughs> and then I started looking up the uh, the age for middle age. And, and one article said that middle age is actually around 37. And I'm like, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> so I'm well into middle age already, huh? <laughs> this is just sad. Um. So yes, I was having a look at these superpowers that we get at middle-aged. Um, they're not very good. I wish they were better. <laughs> but yes, very blind here. Alright, let's do some details in our leaves. In our leaves. Um, Alright, so... I really can't see. I'm so blind. I've got my little tester thing here that I did. So I'm just going to use that as a guide. Starting with chrome oxide green. I come down the left side of this middle line here. Just on the left side there. Not too hard. Just a few strokes there just to get a bit of colour there. Right, and then I'm going to go, I'm thinking just under the dark lines. So there's a couple there, let's just add them in. And if there's not one there, I'm going to add one in. This one down the bottom there, and just on the bottom of the leaf. I think I might add another one just there. Like that. Then I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of shading on the top of the line. Just a tiny bit on top of the line. All right, now I'm going to grab the permanent olive green. If middle age is 50, I'm bordering ancient. Yeah, well, my internal heater is so heated when it kicks in, so. <laughs> uh, the 47 in June, J July, is it? So I'm over the hill. The thing I don't miss about middle age is hot flashes. <laughs> I thought middle age was 50. Yeah, no, they've changed it. <laughs> they've changed it. <laughs> I'm going to assume because the life expectancy is around 80 or something. Um, so they've gone, oh no, middle age is not 50. Because um, <laughs> it goes on that, uh, that average life cycle, I would, I would guess. The average lifespan. So, uh, but but he said to me that, you know, 45, anywhere between 40 and 40 and 50, things start to change for you. One being your eyesight, everybody will get some sort of long-sightedness. 
So permanent olive green, we're just going to go in over the top of the previous color. And because we did a little bit of shading to the left side of this leaf, I'm just going to add a little bit of shading to that side. And then on the top of the lines that we did. Now there should be a slight gap left when we're done here. So, um, so I'm like, okay, great. So this is, I'm already, was already a little bit short-sided, um, but I was already long-sided. Uh, I, I got glasses when I was a kid, actually, for reading and stuff. <laughs> so he's like, it's going to get progressively worse from now on. And he said that he doesn't know how far it will go before it stops. So... <laughs> I'm like, great, I've got all this to look forward to. Um, so, yeah, I had to get bifocals, and that scares me. <laughs> it really does. I've got the grass green, and I'm going to come in over the top of the previous colour, shading out a little bit further on the bottom section there, and just filling in those lighter areas there on the bottom of the leaf. I'm just going to do the same thing, just coming over the bottom section and just up a little bit, starting to fill in the rest of the leaf. Okay, and then we're going to repeat it all from the start again. <laughs> My 98-year-old step-grandmother said Sunday when I said I was blind as a bat, she said she was a bat. <laughs> Michelle, <laughs> my left eye is getting worse. My right eye isn't as bad. That's the same as me. So, um, I will find out more at the end of the month. <laughs> well, I had to. I had to get some, yeah, bifocals. I'm not happy about it, but look, I still don't have to wear them just walking around every day. It's mainly when I'm on the computer, and I had to get myself some, uh, on the computer and reading. Um, I had to get myself uh, some, just a, 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 I guess a light, um, a light single, single uh, set of sunglasses, <laughs> just for driving, because I'm not too bad with the, the, the sh like, you know, I'm just a, a little bit short-sighted, so... I only need, you know, a really light one for sunglasses. And I don't drive at night, so I don't need night glasses or anything. But, um, yeah, it's um, mainly... <laughs> He's like, do you read outside? Because you might need transition lenses if you're reading outside. I go, well, no, maybe. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, transitions as well. So, first of all, I just did that bottom, that middle line there. And I just shaded slightly into the bottom of the leaf. And then we did the lines. Just don't forget, there's a line on the bottom of the leaf too, so you've got to add one there. A little bit of pressure there to get that nice and dark. And then just slight shading over the top of that line. Obviously this side, there's not much room, but we still do it anyway. And we swap. <laughs> Can you guys see that all right? Do I need to zoom in further? I don't think I can without it getting too blurry. Um, and because the light's reflecting off it, it kind of looks dull, but it's actually quite nice and dark in there. But then we've got our permanent green olive over the top again. Just leaving that gap, that nice gap at the top of the sections for our lightest colour. There's not going to be much of that here on the side though. We're just going to have little corner sections here. And then coming back in with that grass green and just finishing that off. Giving us a nice light section at the top. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that on all of them.
having a teenager living in the house I feel a whole lot, lot lot younger are you sure it would make me feel older I find having the kids around makes me feel older <laughs> well so the, some of the things that they, they said that happen let's have a look all right so I've got a couple of tabs open here um so let's see uh, 50 signs <laughs> the mirror <laughs> the uh, UK mirror 50 signs that you've hit middle age how many can you tick off this list well <laughs> let's have a look all right let's go back to the dark color I'm going to do all of the dark lines now on the leaves so you'll be able to see those first you start to notice that the people you work with could potentially be your children. <laughs> do, do we have that? Does this happen? <laughs> Who notices that now? <laughs> I've always kind of hung out with older people, so I don't know. A lot of people I work with tend to be older than me still. Strange that, but it's true. Me, absolutely. Pamela says I do. <laughs> all right, all right, that's good. <laughs> Next one. Buying a new carpet becomes more important than spending money on clothes. That old tank top will come back into fashion one day. Yeah, that happens to me already. <laughs> Don't need new clothes. What are you talking about? <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, the new couch. Oh painting the walls or doing the garden improvements home improvements are more important than clothes that's funny as <laughs> i work in it i'm surrounded by kids i seldom hang out with people my age i don't fit in i hang out <laughs> you are now Hi, Jamie. Love that Bell Bottoms are popular again. Brings me back to my teens. <laughs> I actually saw a, a crochet thing. It was kind of funny. One of the crocheted patterns was crocheted bell bottom pants. I was like, oh my goodness, no. <laughs> crochet clothes is back in at the moment. It's a thing. <laughs> crochet bikinis. Oh, it's scary. It really is scary. Now, I think I need a tiny little bit of pink on this edge of this flower here. Just gonna add that in. I'm just lining all of these leaves first, and then I'm gonna come back and do the shading part. Just lining it out. All right, what's the next one? Have you, Jamie? <laughs> Here we go. You start, you spend hours staring into the mirror, checking for gray hairs and wrinkles. Look, I don't even look in the mirror anymore. <laughs> the only time I look in the mirror is if I'm actually leaving. <laughs> it's just not worth it. Also, I cut all my hair off, so I don't really have much hair that that's visible that's not dyed blonde now so yeah I don't have to look for the gray hairs I guess I can see them on the side of my head when it starts to grow back the the little uh shaved part <laughs> but I just tried to ignore it don't just ignore it just don't look in the mirror okay you don't need to it's all good <laughs> These are awesome superpowers, aren't they? Anyway, let's keep going. 
<laughs> you give up and finally visit the uh, 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 I think that's of 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 opticians is that I don't know let's say optometrists <laughs> after realizing perhaps you do need glasses after all well that's just you know I already knew I needed them but I knew I needed them badly <laughs> this time around I knew something was different <laughs> say that I go it's only in the last probably three months that I've really noticed it <laughs> hmm all right you realize you're older than most of the authors, actors, presenters, and music mus musicians that you like. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, you know, I don't know. I've never, I've never. Uh, maybe, maybe. I'm gonna say the artist. I've definitely noticed they've got younger. <laughs> okay, maybe I've just got older, but you know, it, I have noticed that. <laughs> if these are superpowers i think i'll pass on middle age yeah yeah for sure <laughs> searching for the face cream for the wrinkles mm -hmm. have you guys seen that new silicon patch thing that you stick on and you pull it off and it's supposed to make your skin look fuller i'm looking at that going i'm not gonna i'm not gonna even go there i'm not gonna no i don't need it it's all good <laughs> You asked the travel agent about a cruise holiday. Well, I really enjoyed the last cruise holiday I went on, so that one's... I don't think that's a middle age one. I think that just depends. But you know what? Maybe it is because I've got older. I'm like, I'd love to do that cruise again. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is starting to scare me. <laughs> mm, who's gone on a cruise lately? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> My daughter paid to get me a haircut months ago. Brought hair dye and still sitting in the bathroom where I put it. Dealing with vertigo kind of puts it on hold. Oh, you need to definitely go get your hair done then. Or get a friend to do it so you don't have to do it over the sink yourself. <laughs> I have given that stuff up i will age my mum looks after all that stuff <laughs> jamie says if they are then i'm definitely a superhero wait what i realize is that as far as music goes i listened to since the late 50s until present over 50 years of music is a long time yes and then if you listen to your parents music you know it's just yeah Anyway, let's do a little bit of shading with that dark colour now. Just a little bit. It's crazy, isn't it? Crazy. You know what? I think the thing for me was that uh, when one of my kids comes in and goes oh mom that's so retro and i'm like i beg your pardon it's so what now <laughs> i'm what now <laughs> i'm like no don't say that that's just wrong retro oh my goodness oh my goodness Anyway, it's funny. It is. We've got to laugh. If we don't laugh, then we'll just cry, right? Right. That's right. You just say it. Yep, that's right, B. <laughs> we don't laugh, we'll cry. All right, what's the next one? <laughs> Loretta. Better to laugh than cry. Exactly. All right, here we go. What's next? Yeah. 
You're happy to spend big money on boring things like garden fences, telling yourself it's an, it's an investment. No, no, like coloring supplies and craft supplies, and it's an investment. That should be more like it, right? <laughs> it's it's for retirement. It's so I've got something to do when I retire, or, or I am retired. I need to do something, right? That's it, right? <laughs> I can hear noise. You good? Hang on a sec. Back again. They're going off to school. Got to take Nanny because I'm here live. So Nanny gets to go for a drive. Woohoo, Nanny. Okay, what's next? Let's have a look. Um, Colouring supplies for sure. <laughs> Those jeans that you've had for the last 10 years no longer fit. Oh, no, mine still fit. I haven't, I haven't really changed much. I'm hoping that they don't fit in a way that they get too small, too, too big. That would be nice. Too big would be really nice. They didn't really specify whether it would be too big or too small. So I'm hoping it's too big. <laughs> too big would be good, yeah? <laughs> um, a shopping spree means going to the garden centre. Let's just, let's just cross that out and say going to the art shop. I like that one. <laughs> Gardening means work. Exactly. Not ready for that yet. <laughs> Swapping to the permanent green olive now. That's funny. It's true though, actually. I, I was thinking that. I'm like, no. For me, it's definitely art supplies. Although I have been trying to do a few things around the house to get rid of some clutter and I guess that's part of it too, isn't it? You just no longer want to have to to dust everything, you know? <laughs> Are you sick of walking around it? You're like, no, this is going. This is going. This is going. I don't need this anymore. Why have I even got this? Where did this even come from? Do you guys have that? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I uh, I just got myself a treadmill, actually. Um, because I just don't get out enough. And uh, I'm not strong enough to take Nanny for a walk. She's too full on for me. I Like, she's very, very good, but I'm actually not frightened of her everyday behaviour. It's if you know, another dog comes along or a kid comes along and, and she's very, gets very excitable and I'm not strong enough. I just can't pull on the lead enough, you know. Uh, so I just could, I won't take her for a walk, not by myself. So I just said to Cam, it's time for um, a treadmill or something so I can, you know, get a little bit of exercise in without having to take Nani for a walk and without having to leave because you know usually I'm the only one here to look after her so yeah maybe I can get her on the treadmill she'd like that <laughs> she would all right um you suddenly start booking more holidays and telling yourself life is too short oh yeah well you know what that that one's actually true because, you know, we just went away for a weekend for our anniversary and Valentine's Day. And uh, I'm like, I said to him, let's, let's do this again on my birthday. And <laughs> suddenly finding excuses to do all of this, all of these little trips away, you know. 
you have a, a herb garden or oh, herb gardens are good they're kind of small and, and easy to tend you keep trying to get rid of stuff I know I know I do the same thing I know they want pants with holes in them I think it's a waste of money I'm like what what a waste it's already worn out like you're not going to get much wear out of them you buy jeans to get wear out of them anyhow grass green is next all right let's have a look oh this one says you join the gym after catching sight of your reflection <laughs> getting out of the bath <laughs> well I didn't join a gym my friend, who's also the same, actually she's a year older than me, she she uh, messaged me and said, hey, do you want to join the pool? You know, we can go to the pool and walk in the wading pool and, you know, and I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going there. <laughs> done that, been there, done that, not going there. I won't go, it, it'll just end up being, you know what happened, I did, I joined the pool. Our pool has this, like, heated um, exercise pool. And uh, I joined to be able to go and use that. And do you know what happened? It was so busy that the only time I could get down there to get in the pool to have a go was at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> like, it, it was packed. I, you go down there at, like, 10 in the morning and there was, like, mothers with kids and, you know, and then in the afternoons you've got all of the older people going down and getting in and there's just no room this is no room to do anything it's like what is the point of paying for this if if you can't get in the pool uh so yeah I, i'm not doing that again i'd love to get a swim spa with a treadmill that would be so cool that that's something that's on my list <laughs> bit of exercise there nice heated pool not much much exertion that that's what i need <laughs> maybe one day i i'd like to save up it's on my list you know of things to save up for anyhow what's the next one <laughs> all right looking kill cool. all right we need to darken it now i'm going to repeat it okay so at work, you're happy for someone else to take charge. <laughs> Is that true? Those that do go to work? Swapping to chrome oxide green. Are you happy for uh, someone else to just take over and it means you don't have to do it? <laughs> I mean, I, I can, I can think, I, I think that that sort of sounds a little reasonable. <laughs> Does that mean like you're less competitive now? Like you, you, you lose the competitiveness that you had when you worked? I don't know. Is working competitive for you? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know this one because I work for myself. But I, I, I guess working for myself, I'd gladly have someone take over some things that I do. <laughs> if if uh, my daughter says you want me to help with the, the book work, I'm like, yes, do. Help, do. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> yes. Help do, please. All right, next color again. I hate mirrors and unfortunately our bathroom has a huge wardrobe and three doors are mirrors. No, Sal. I only have a couple of mirrors and I barely look in them. 
I'd rather buy a pair of jeans and put my own spin on them. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> you'd rather take charge still but that's is that because you you'd rather take charge because you know how to do it your way and it's quicker and it saves questions and and bother is that why <laughs> you're always prepared for every eventuality when you leave the house you just might need that broly during the heat wave right Mm, no, not me yet. I'm I'm a little bit like, I'll just take my purse. I couldn't be bothered taking anything else. <laughs> I think that's getting older than middle age. Maybe. Maybe in, in another 10 years I might go, yeah, I need that. I need that. <laughs> At this stage, not for me. <laughs> Oh, man. That's good. All right. A little bit more of that grass green. I would rather... <laughs> can bring out our competitive natures you're right helen you can the coloring brings out all sorts of things in different people it's um quite interesting over the years what i've uh, witnessed when it comes to the coloring community but i think the coloring community is such a big mixture of young and old it's um i don't know it, it's kind of a mixture so it, it's a mixed batch <laughs> Although I have noticed that, uh, like, Cam's mum, she's in her 80s, 70s, yeah, 70-something. And uh, I have noticed that uh, she she does get a, a, a little bit, um, you know, itchy with some people. <laughs> it's kind of interesting <laughs> watching uh, her go back to her teenage years <laughs> when it comes to people. It's kind of funny. I'm like, oh, am I going to be like that? <laughs> I swear. You actually know the names of plants and start growing your own vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, you snub own brands in the supermarket for, for posh grub. Pop noodles for students, right? <laughs> I don't know. We, we have pretty, we still have kids and teenagers at home. So that's maybe why we don't do that. Although both Cam and I are like, we'll just have toast for tea. Like we're not, we, you know, we're not fast. How cool does that look? Because we find that they're out a lot, like they work at night and stuff. We, we tend to just go for the quick, you know, easy meals, <laughs> whatever there is. Um, when I got the transition lenses and, and, and the, the, you know, they transition with the light, he said to me, you know, they will, they will uh, go dark in under UV lights. So if you go to a club or something and there's UV lights, then, you know, they'll, they'll turn dark. And I just looked at him and I'm like, but I'm middle-aged. I don't go to clubs now. <laughs> I'm not going to a nightclub. So if you have a big night out, it has to be an all weekend thing because you need the all the, the whole weekend to to go like to plan and go and then recover, right? <laughs> hey Kelly, welcome. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. So true. 
the clothes shops now, you don't go for the fashionable, you go for comfortable. What looks comfortable? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's do some jewelry. 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 Let's do the bracelet and the earrings. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> okay, so when people ask you what you want for Christmas or birthday, you always say stuff for the house. Like you don't need anything for you. Yeah, that's starting to happen. Or all craft supplies. Every time you order takeaway, you order the same thing. I don't know. I like to try different things, but yeah, that's probably right. It probably is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use some burnt umber number 280. And I'm going to go in here. And just lay down a nice light layer of this into the bracelet covering over those black lines just kind of wicking I guess like that all right then we're going to come over the top of that with some burnt ochre so that was Burnt Umber. This is Burnt Ochre 187. Oh, look, this one here is fake. I'm late. I had an X-ray on my foot and I fractured. Oh, no. Oh, Kelly, no. Do they have to do a bone density test? Like, to make sure everything's okay? That's bad. I was. I did that to my ankle as well when I was in the supermarket. I was walking along and just plonk. <gasps> broke anyway <laughs> your fridge is packed with healthy vegetables nope i haven't hit that one yet suddenly you change your hair and get oh my goodness and get a new style i've definitely done that in the last few months oh my goodness <laughs> using some burnt ochre i'm going to come over the top and just blend out a little bit further Oh my goodness, I've definitely done the hair one. Just got over it and just went, nah, cutting it off. Done. You try to get on with your children's friends and be cool in front of them, just to be clear, you're not fooling anyone. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> Once my daughter gets settled in and swap jobs and help with the house stopped for the most part, so now it's me doing it mostly myself again. It gets old. At least she doesn't make a huge mess. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, I, I just told people I was doing karate and broke my ankle, but no, I was actually walking in the supermarket and just kind of whooped and over I went. Ah, oh. Roslyn, welcome back and thanks for re, uh, re, um, <laughs> re, redoing your membership. <laughs> Oh, yeah, tailbone's bad. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. You have os osteophenia. Oh, no, that's bad. Yellow, light yellow ochre we're using next, which is number 183. Oh, well, be careful, my dear. Especially walking around on the farm. Uh, light yellow ochre, I'm going to come over the top of the previous colours. And then just lightly come out a little bit further. You see what's happening? 
we're gradually lightening as we go and we're creating this nice shiny highlight spot in the middle here just slightly up there next we have uh, Naples yellow I had trouble with my tailbone when I was pregnant with my kids I knew I was pregnant with my second because my tailbone started playing up uh, I don't know why but it kind of instead of pointing inwards it was pointing outwards and it caused all sorts of problems um because everything pulls inwards when you're pregnant so it was trying to yeah it was painful couldn't sit <laughs> without sitting on my leg so I've got Naples yellow which is 185 and I'm just going to go over the top of the previous colors and just come all the way out and I'm going to leave a small gap in the middle a small white gap that's our highlight part there so that's where we're going to have a bit of a shine happening just like that so it's a shiny spot We're going to repeat those steps so we're going to go back to the burnt umber which is that dark brown and then back to burnt ochre just like that so some of these I didn't find that I, I am at yet. So maybe I'm not quite middle-aged. Maybe I'm just coming up to it. <laughs> There's still a few more, so I'll, I'll read a few more out. All right, let's go to uh, light yellow ochre again. And just stick into the lighter areas this time. I don't want to go over all of those dark too much now. And then a little bit more of the Naples yellow. And what I'm going to do is grab my white pencil. I'm going to use the Prisma White. Remember to use a soft white pencil for smushing. For smushing. <laughs> for smushing. I'm fat. <laughs> you have fat fingers? Is that what you're saying, <laughs> Jeffy? <laughs> oh dear. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. So the big cool one around your kids, yep, yeah, got that. It becomes imperative that the curtains match the cushions or the cushions match the curtains. I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. My house is too disorganized to have things match yet. I'm using the white just to smush in that middle section there. There's our highlight. All right, and I am just going to put a little bit of white gel pen in there just to add a little bit of a scribble of a highlight there. Just like that. There we go. He's done. Now what I might do is um, I might add with the smaller one. That's too big, that one smaller gel pen I've got the point five the sorry the number five jelly roll which is actually a point three nib I believe I don't know and uh, I'm just gonna put a shiny sparkle spot there All right, moving on. <laughs> you have to match OCD, okay? You love matching things. <laughs> ah, no worries, Pam. <laughs> All right, so you get hangovers again. <laughs> I never really got hangovers anyway. I didn't drink a lot. So <laughs> starting with the burnt umber, I'm going to do the earrings. 
just going to put a little bit of a line. Now what I'm going to do is just create a few little sort of dark patches. So I'm just going to lightly add some of this on first just to mark them out. I'm thinking like just a few areas where you can see a dark reflection. Don't overthink it. Just just pop a few in and, you know, it'll work. It's best to leave like an area where you can, like we've done here, we've kind of brought it in together. It's good to leave that kind of thing uh, when you're doing, so you get these little highlights in between. So there you go, that's the, a, a better way to think about it there. Let's do something on this side as well. Cool. All right, next color. Pam, are you going? Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. I, I thought she was saying that she had to catch up because a friend popped in and she'll, yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Everything has to have a place. Organization. Oh, I wish. I wish. I think it's starting to happen though. I think I'm getting a little bit more like, why have people left things out? Why is this sitting here? This should be here. Getting annoyed with fixing stuff up, you know? Hi, Marilyn. Okay, so you buy quality pots and pans. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I'm using uh, burnt ochre now. Just coming a little bit further out. So I'm just sort of doing either side of that dark spot now. Hey, have you got quality pots and pans? Do we? I don't know. I already had them. <laughs> I already had them. Does that mean it, it, it really is started? <laughs> we actually brought um, a good quality set of pots and pans not that long ago because um, I was getting sick of the uh, I don't know I just heard bad things about non-stick so I went stainless everything's stainless now there you go so that already happened great you buy a caravan a sports car or a camper uh, we're actually been looking at uh, camper vans. So, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting, yeah? <laughs> and uh, instead of camping now, it's glamping. Uh, so there's no more tents. It's it's now cabins or, or caravans. or <laughs> So, yep, that one's a definite. Less roughing it, you know, less roughing it. That one's for sure. My OCD wants everything in its place. But your hypothyroidism doesn't hypothyroidism doesn't allow you the energy to reorganize yes that's exactly right <laughs> that is all exactly right all right now i've got a little bit of the um naples yellow making sure i leave some little white highlight areas It's so funny how things change and you don't even realize they've changed. 
until you get told that you have middle-aged long-sightedness. <laughs> oh dear. You start shopping in the local butchers and greengrocer. Oh, so you stop just getting it from the supermarket and you start actually getting them from a greengrocer or or a, a butcher. Well, look, we've gone to a butcher for many years because he's a, a client of uh, Cam's. So I don't know about that one. We don't really go to a greengrocer. Maybe when we don't have the kids, I think maybe we probably would because, you know, you only have to get a few things in. At the moment, we're still buying for four <laughs> so uh you know it costs more than we're not likely to do it <laughs> although sometimes going to the green grocer is cheaper than the supermarket and sometimes it's nicer too i mean you know i'm just going back over the dark again when you uh realize that your uh, apple is from california and you live in australia you're like how does that work <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> Do you get like really sore after just doing a, a, like you have those moments where you're like, oh, I just need to change it. And then afterwards you're like, I wish I didn't change it. <laughs> You're just like I'm just too tired to even move now for another weekend um, you regret putting all that energy into it <laughs> yep I really have to redo my little art area here but I'm um I ha I'm gonna have to be off while I have this thyroid thing done so I'm thinking I might just try and get it all reorganized during that time when I can't stream anyway but still it's like <laughs> it's like I want it done now I need it fixed it's not it's not very organized and starting to get on top of everything and it's annoying you know it's annoying very annoying thanks Barbara I'm just gonna add some more burned ochre I'm just doing those colors from light to dark again that's all I'm doing now but I forgot this earring, so you just have to come back. <laughs> just had to come back. Alright, back to enables a yellow again. Okay, so I can remember buying chopped mead ground beef for 50 cents a pound. Oh my goodness. See, we never had pounds. We we had cents. <laughs> there was one time we used to have pennies and pounds. and I, I think pennies and, and stuff like that, but I think we have our own... We use dollars. Dollars! And cents. But, you know, I used to be a smoker. And uh, we used to buy cigarettes at like, you know, four ninety five a box of 30. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> um, they became you know thirty dollars a box like that just sort of i'm glad i don't smoke anymore it's been a very long time and my son is nearly 18 this year so it's been about 19 years wow wow i'm gonna use white again and just get these nice little highlight spots there smooth and covered Oh dear. I need to get the earring up here either. It's 
bit more yellow. Needs a little bit more yellow in a couple of areas, so I'm just going to come in and add a bit more. Keeping a little highlight if I can. Let's just zoom back out again, see how it looks. And then I think it's time to do a giveaway because the time just got away with me today. Oh, that's another one, actually. Time seems to just disappear. <laughs> time disappears. I need to put a bit of a sparkle there. And her earring, and then just a little scribble of white. Maybe another little sparkle there. My pen's not working. It's having a moment. <laughs> Scribble, scribble. All right. Ah, oh, she's pretty. She's pretty. Three dollars fifty in the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> 35 cents a pack when I started. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you remember when the first one was opened? Ah. Now a packet of 40 cigarettes costs you around $60 Australian. That is crazy. So that's crazy. I'm so glad I don't smoke anymore. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's bad. Even, yeah, that, that's just crazy. Like, the tax on there is ridiculous. Mm. So, um, all right, here we go. Here's the next. Let's do a few more. I'm just picking and choosing a few out of here. Um, they're funny. You decide to train in something new. I don't think I can remember anything new. <laughs> <laughs> all right what are we doing let's do a giveaway let's do a giveaway i have a image of your choice from kevin teo's etsy shop teo art etsy shop uh if you've already won i think we had claudia and sal have already won a giveaway this month so you guys don't enter but everyone else can enter and you can write the word let me write the word i think we go with old because we've been chatting about being uh, middle-aged let's go with old <laughs> and let's all age gracefully shall we So pop in the word old and you'll automatically go into the draw. If you do win, uh, Nightbot will choose a winner, obviously, from those who do type the word. And uh, if you do win, you will need to email me within the next 24 hours and let me know which image you would like and uh, I can get that organised. No ways. Uh, why is it not? <laughs> show. I don't know why I did that, Loretta. That was weird. <laughs> yeah let's do it guys thanks so old we are all old and sad okay i speak for for me i i am old and sad <laughs> old and sad let's do a gold dragon i really don't know what i'm going to do with him but i think we'll give it a go no let's do his 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 little pointy things first shall we 
All right, we're going to use the same colors we used in the hair. What? Yeah, we're going to give him like rainbow fins, I decided. Rainbow fins it is. <laughs> rainbow fins it is. Old. Why it did what? Oh, Loretta, it came up and said, do you want, do you want to hold this comment, your comment? It didn't want me to, you to comment. It said, no, you can't. Old and happy to still be alive. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I surprise myself by still being here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we've only had eight people enter. Come on, guys. I know there's more of you out there that want to enter. Why are we so quiet today? Hey, it's Friday. Where's everyone gone? Well, it's a better chance of you guys winning if nobody else enters. <laughs> oh dear let's do some cream on the tips of the pointy bits Look at that. I think I might give him rainbow feet, maybe. Let's let's get my electric eraser out here. Hi Sue. Anyone else like to enter? Oh, no worries, Jamie. <laughs> you can purchase uh, Kevin's books on Amazon too. I'm just um, erasing the skin colour out of the claws and the tail. Because you know, I can. Because <laughs> I can. <laughs> Shall we try that again? You have two? Awesome. All right, we're going to use uh, violet. Oh my goodness, violet. Let's do it. Let's do it. Violet, you're turning violet, violet. <laughs> I'm sorry. And let's do the violet just in these dark patches here. I'm putting a little bit of pressure on and then lightening it up as I come out. A little bit of pressure in those dark areas and then just lightening my pressure as I come out. All right. Hmm. Maybe you should, maybe it should, I don't know. Maybe it should start up there a little bit. Since that one does. Oh, who knows? That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> Alright, let's draw it. Anyone else want to enter quickly? Write to the word old. Because I'm old. I got Barbara, Loretta, Helen, 
Janine, Kelly, Michelle, Mona, Pam and Pamela, Sherry and Sue. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Old, says Pam. I'm old. <laughs> Light purple pink is next. I'm going to come over the top of that violet colour and just come out a little bit further. Like we've done in her hair, basically. <laughs> he's cute all right here we go i'm drawing it you're not hardly old <laughs> no <laughs> none of you are <laughs> ah dear here we go sherry congratulations you could give me a call that would be awesome a call a message um, an email let me know which image you would like i see this is what happens when you get middle-aged you forget things very easily. <laughs> so that's all of the things that sort of, you know, the, the changes that can happen, uh, I'm assuming, as you get older or you come into middle age. But, like, there's a lot of physical stuff as well. The glasses, um, there's a higher risk of, of certain, certain uh, health issues, uh, them being... <laughs> A whole list of them there being a whole list of things that uh, you're at a higher risk of arthritis asthma bronchitis coronary heart disease diabetes uh hypertension high blood pressure mental oh, hypertension is high blood pressure mental disorders stroke they're all the the the, the physical things <laughs> the the health issues that can come so yeah it's kind of scary getting older it is it's kind of scary using the cream to just blend that now yeah? and add a little bit more of that uh violet just in those dark areas oh snap i was pushing a little hard then i think that time we can blame me I was pushing it down a little too hard. All right, and then we're going to do a gold, gold, goldy, goldy. Oh wait, before we do gold, let's do a little bit of um of bluish turquoise. He's got like this uh, collar thing around his neck there, so I'm just gonna. I don't know. And a little bit of cobalt. No, that's not the one. This one. Uh, light cobalt. Cobalt turquoise. I can't even talk now. Goodness me. Just adding a little bit of that in there. Okay, now we're going to do the gold dragon bit. Oh, you do, Debbie? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I sound Australian, but apparently I do. <laughs> Some Vegemite might. <laughs> I think, um, I don't know. It depends on which part of Australia you come from. A lot of people know I'm from Melbourne. Because <laughs> of the way I talk. I don't know how that works. Anyhow, burnt umber. Part of it is what you can keep under control and can actually do things about both life-wise and physical-wise. I was on my way to getting all of it there at one point and then poof, nothing. <laughs> Christina, hello, welcome. Next time, there's one more next week. <laughs> Yeah, 
You do, but not as much as others. Ah, oh. <laughs> no worries, Helen. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. We've got uh, burnt umber. Yeah, add it into all of these dark sections. We need to have some points meet up so we have some shinier spots too. So we'll have to do... A little bit of dark in a couple of areas. Uh, we need to give him a little bit of a highlight on his tail, so let's do dark and then a little bit of dark here. Alright, let's go back with some burnt ochre. Do over the top and a little bit further down. I just realized I think we colored into his actual eye there. I'm just gonna. Just lighten that little spot there. <laughs> We better try and, you know, actually give him an eye. I might dark, just go into the actual eyeball there and just do that with that dark umber, nice and dark. And then add a little bit of white gel pen on there just to uh, bring that eye a little bit more forward and make it a little bit more obvious. <laughs> Finally managed to colour another image, didn't turn out that great, but it was something at least, so I'm happy with it at least. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine too. You, you are correct there, Jamie. I'm sure it is good. It is good. Burnt ochre. Now, I think I'm done with the burnt ochre. I think I'm going to move to uh, yellow, light yellow ochre. Light yellow ochre. I'm going to try and give him a little bit of a highlight in the leg there and just on top of the his body I think would you and his tail another one and on top of his head and eye there I think we'll do another one another highlight Laugh camera. Oh, I keep doing that. You need to uh, move it up a bit and then I can lean it. <laughs> Yay! Says Sherry. I just read your thing. Yay! <laughs> so I've got Naples yellow. I'm going to come all the way up to the top, leaving a little bit of a highlight. A bit of a highlight in the middle of the legs. So he's gold with like, I don't know, what do you call this? Rainbow feet. <laughs> gold with rainbow feet. He started to change into a hair colour. Maybe he's like a chameleon type dragon. He's like, I'm going to come to you. I'm going to add a little bit of this in the ends of the 
things there, gobbled it up a little bit. All right, now we go white. I use watercolors as a base. Couldn't add sparkle because the gel pens and pencils I used didn't get along. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Some things don't go on top of other things. Using the white to blend that out. Swoosh, swoosh. Yeah, I probably could go a little bit darker in a few areas now. Need a brush. He's very cute. First of all, I think it needs a little bit of dark here. Get that back again. A bit more of that purple there. Alright, and then... We'll go back in with the uh, burnt umber, the darker brown. I'm just going to add a couple of little texture lines there for the scales as well. Too many. Alright, then going back in with the burnt ochre. Burnt ochre. Getting some more of that yellowy colour back. It's kind of a dirty looking gold, isn't it? It's still goldish looking though. All right, back to uh, light yellow ochre. So next week we'll have to do the top and the poopy and the background. <laughs> poopy and I drew on her arm too. Poopy. Um, We'll do a top and uh, we'll also do the background. I think I'll use, I don't know, watercolour or something for the background. Um, I don't know. I haven't sort of thought about it. I could do marker, but I'm thinking. Oh, I could do pastel. I don't know. We'll do something. Back to that. Back to it. This is the uh, light yellow ochre. Just making this nice and smooth in here now. Bit more of that yellow colour back in. And the light yellow ochre. Sorry, the Naples yellow, my bad. We just used the light yellow. Okay. We're using Naples yellow now. Yeah. Oh, 
I like him. He looks really cool. He's got a bit of a bit of a shine to him. Not too much, but a bit. I'm not sure what colour we use for the dark parts of the skin. Can anyone remember? Kaput Mortem, was it? I'm just going to add a little bit more of that Kaput Mortem from the first week. And uh, just a couple of areas that I've noticed as I've been colouring that probably could have a little bit more depth. Especially this little section here where this Mr. Dragon is laying on top of the arm. All right, and then I'm just going to use the cinnamon just to blend the edges off a little bit more. These colours were all on the first week's uh, list. So if you can't remember what you used, if you did do a conversion, then go back and check it. Just go back and check it. Just trying to get rid of some of the grey that was around the tail there. Which I think we did well then. Which looks good. I don't know, somehow I miss I think I missed the ear when I first did it originally. The second layer there. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Let's zoom out and have a look at him quickly. Zoom out. Ah, he's looking awesome. Let's add some sparkles in him. We would stop walking when he got to the register and she would stick her head out from under his hair to see what was going on around her. Oh, <laughs> ball python. I coloured a ball python once. I'm not, I don't like snakes, but it's only because I think, you know, here in Australia, most of the snakes um, in the world are poisonous. So we were just taught living in the country, you don't touch a snake. Um... You know, and I just can't, I don't like them. No, I don't, not scared of them, I just don't like them. A little bit of a scribble on top there, a little scribble. And those little highlight areas. I like it. Looks good. Oh, hi, Selena. Did you just chat with him? Is that why you were disappeared for a bit? Oh, it's good that you caught up at least. No worries, Sherry. No worries, Barbara. They're very quiet today. 
people have disappeared or maybe they've forgotten because daylight savings finished i don't know <laughs> i don't know where everybody's gone it's okay it's okay i'm not sure what to do in the background now we could just do blue i don't know her top's gonna be blue so actually we could what's the time no i'm not gonna start it i'm gonna finish i'm gonna that's it today we did the we did have a good chat though <laughs> we did the gold and we did the green we hardly did anything this stream <laughs> we really didn't do anything did we <laughs> we were too busy chatting we were too busy chatting that's all right what's next week um oh okay cool oh april has one two three four five weeks um so we might i don't know who i'm doing for next month i haven't spoken to anyone usually i do ns in in april but and this is so hard to get in touch with <laughs> lately. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to choose. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All good. All good, guys. I'm going to finish it up here today. Um, we'll come back next week. We'll finish the top. And I think we'll do a quick, easy background. I'm thinking maybe blues, like pale blue. Uh, like a sky blue type colour, uh, or a pale yellow. There's a couple of colours that would look nice in here. I don't know. I, I don't know what this paper's like with, with water, so I don't think I want to go with water this time round, but I think uh, we could do marker or, pa or pastel. Um, just don't remember, you look, don't look in the mirrors and you're in these old as you feel. <laughs> Good one, Jamie. Good one. Yeah, I think, Diane, there's a bit of a change in the time. So, look, once we go back into, um, back from out, because we're still in Daylight Savings, when we stop Daylight Savings, I think we might match up a little better. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I never know whether winter was better times or summer was better times. I, I always forget which is better, but it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter. Daylight Savings ends here in a couple of weeks, so... Ah, oh, happy St. Patrick's Day to you. I didn't even know that was today. Um, I picked, I'm doing it on some Nina cardstock uh, that I'm not thoroughly impressed with. Um, if you're Australian, it's the same as Quillboard from Officeworks. So um, that would work too if you haven't got, don't, don't bother trying to get the Nina, the quill board is perfect. It's exactly the same. So, um, but yeah, this is Nina cardstock white. It's only 67 pound Bristol, Bristol, Nina, Bristol, apparently Bristol. <laughs> uh, but I really love the, um, the Strathmore mixed media paper and I don't mind this quill board either. Quill board's good too. So my Nina doesn't hold water well. Yeah, me neither. I don't. I don't think I'll try water on it. Um, I'm thinking maybe either pastel, pastel or marker. I'm thinking pastels, maybe. Like there's so many different types of pastels out there. I'll use pan pastels, but um, pastels can be quite uh, like not all pastels are pricey. Is where I was trying to go with it. <laughs> it just wouldn't come out of my mirror. Um, so I'm thinking maybe pastels because pastels uh you can get loads of different brands uh and you can get cheaper more expensive it doesn't matter uh this one is 147 grams gsm 147 gsm 67 pound it's a light one this one uh one of my favorites is the uh 190 pound mixed media strathmore and uh the quill board is the uh uh, it's not the thicker one. It's a normal quill board. Let me find it. Hang on. Uh, 
And this quill board, this is Australian, so don't try and find it if you're not Australian, you'll probably have trouble. It's called Quill Board China DSM. And this is fabulous as well. It's exactly the same as the Nina, except it's A4 instead of uh, letter size. So, uh, And then this is the mixed media one that I like, which takes water really well. Uh, the Nina and the Cool Board don't really take water that well. Um, this takes water quite well. It's 190 GSM. I like it because there's 40 pages in the book, uh, so it lasts quite a while. It's a, also vellum, mixed media vellum surface. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different brands. It's hard because Australia we don't get a lot of the brands, so um, it's good to sort of have an alternative by using the cool board. That's good too. All right, guys. Well, I will see you next week. Uh, Monday we're going to do some more of our uh, kissy art one. Hopefully we've finished that one. <laughs> I'm over I'm over Q now. It's time for some R. <laughs> All right, uh, Sherry, make sure you email me. Uh, and I will see everybody next week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend and I will see you next time. A big thank you to my channel members and subscribers and my patrons. Love you all and see you soon. Bye.